5G creates new opportunities for communication service providers beyond traditional consumer applications. From factories served by wireless controlled robots, to retailers offering new AR and VR experiences, to self-driving cars. And enterprises benefit the most from improved productivity, agility, and scalability that 5G provides. Service providers have typically had limited network capability to tune services for specific needs. And this challenge only increases with new 5G network services. With the use of network slicing, multiple independent end-to-end -end logical networks can be created on demand and run on a shared physical infrastructure. Each slice is built for a specific communication service and can provide prescribed quality of service SLA while being isolated and secure. A network slice can span across multiple parts of the network and run network functions distributed in a multi-cloud environment. Implementing network slicing would require a service management and orchestration, or SMO, capability that consolidates orchestration and management functionalities across the entire network. Juniper Service Management and Orchestration, or SMO, is a multi-cloud, multi-domain, and multi-tenant platform. It implements ORAN in 3GPP requirements and interfaces, while also supporting end-to-end -end service orchestration across the RAN, transport network, and core network. The Juniper SMO is designed for end-to-end -end network slicing and disaggregated ORAN orchestration. The cloud-native microservices architecture supports standard APIs and data models to allow for integration with third-party systems. Juniper has further strengthened its SMO capabilities with the integration of the industry's leading RAN Intelligent Controller, or RIC. The RIC is a specialized form of software-defined network controller for the radio access network that brings intelligence, agility, programmability, extensibility, and openness to the RAN. It allows for enhanced QoE, lower TCO, and innovative use cases leveraging AI ML capabilities. In this demonstration, We'll give an overview of the technology and capabilities for Juniper's Service Management Orchestration and RAN Intelligent Controller. We'll cover network slice preparation, including infrastructure cloud onboarding and slice template design, network slice commissioning, including slice creation and activation, network slice operations to ensure RAN slice SLA assurance, log into the platform and start the infrastructure preparation phase, in the infrastructure preparation phase, there's a topology view where a user can manage and monitor a nationwide network of clouds, cell sites, and inner cloud links. The platform can manage large-scale infrastructure for service providers, as well as smaller scale use cases, such as enterprise private mobile networks, as represented here. In the infrastructure map view, the clouds and cell sites are shown by geographic location. Juniper SMO contains a catalog of network function descriptors and network slicing related templates. Network functions are the basic building blocks for network slicing. A network slice subnet is a domain specific segment of an end to end slice. For example, the RAN and core network domains. The network slice template catalog contains end to end service templates, each composed of multiple domain specific slice subnets. For example, a network slice template may contain RAN, transport network, and core network slice subnet templates. Communication service defines the intent-based use case that the operator offers to its customers, which is realized by network slice and the associated SLA. A user can create an ORAN slice subnet template in the SMO's design studio. Interconnected network functions can be added and complex topologies per network requirement can be designed. For example, an ORAN network slice subnet template can include an ODU, OCU, and near RT RIC. Similarly, the Design Studio also allows for designing end to end network slice templates by combining domain specific network slice subnet templates. In the network slice commissioning phase, an enterprise could order a communication service for its private 5G network. This would then be realized by the deployment of a network slice instance accessible from its production sites and offices. During the communication service order, the user specifies different runtime attributes, including selection of the cell sites that will be enabled for this communication service. The SMO has now deployed an end-to-end -end network slice for our private 5G enterprise use case. We have just presented the Juniper Service Management and Orchestration Platform, 
And now let's dive into the radio access network with the Juniper RAN Intelligent Controller, or RIC, and its X apps and R apps for RAN Slice SLA Assurance. The RAN Slice Assurance R app continuously monitors the current slice usage for the private 5G enterprise slice by collecting slice specific performance metrics. If it detects an SLA violation, the R app immediately initiates corrective action by making appropriate slice specific configuration changes and updating the policy on the RAN Slice Assurance X app. The X app takes care of propagating the configuration changes to the appropriate CUs and DUs. The X app monitors the changes and sends back acknowledgments to the R app to confirm that the slice usage and utilization levels are now meeting the specified SLA levels. RANSLICE SLA Assurance X apps can be deployed on near RT RICs. SLA Assurance Monitoring screen provides operators real time monitoring of RANSLICE Assurance. The top graph shows the cumulative slice utilization across all G Node Bs and all RICs compared to the global Slice SLA objective. The yellow line represents the current usage, and the green line represents the target SLA usage. The initial configuration of the slice cannot meet the current traffic pattern. Therefore, the cumulative usage is well below the SLA objective. The X apps will detect the unused slice capacity on some of the G node Bs and reallocate it to the overloaded G node Bs. For example, during the workday, the G node Bs on the production floor may be overloaded while GNode Bs in other areas may have low traffic utilization. The RIC and X apps will detect such unbalance and allocate slice throughput in function of local demand across all GNode Bs. The bottom left graph shows the high-level policy guidance from non-RT RIC to the near-RT RICs via the ORAN A1 interface. The goal is to distribute the total slice capacity across the near-RT RICs. The bottom right graph shows the policy enforcement and control between the near RT RICs and G node Bs over the ORAN E2 interface. It shows fine grained slice capacity distribution across the G node Bs by the near RT RIC. For simplification purposes, only two G node Bs are shown on this graph. In the top graph, the RIC applications detect the unused slice capacity on some of the G node Bs and reallocate to the overloaded G node Bs. When the slice capacity allocation is done properly, it will reach to this SLA objective line. Now, there was a sudden change in the traffic pattern. For example, the workday has finished and people are moving away from the production floor. So, the G node Bs that were previously overloaded become unused, and other G node Bs are now overloaded. The rest of the demo will show how the RIC and X apps detect this sudden traffic pattern change and reallocate the total slice throughput to the newly overloaded G node Bs. The goal always is to meet the total slice utilization SLA as shown on the top graph. The RIC and X apps and R apps took SLA assurance actions against the traffic pattern change that had caused an imbalance in the RAN network utilization and reconfigured the RAN to achieve the SLA objective. To summarize, through service management and orchestration, RAN Intelligent Controller and RAN Slice SLA Assurance R app and X app, Juniper is leading the industry in end to end network slice orchestration and assurance on ORAN compliant 5G networks.